Now, I'm not a furry, but this shit right here, this some good shit. So recently, I found out that Beastars was getting an anime adaptation. And if you don't know what Beastars is, well, well settle down, kids. You know, it, it, your good friend the captain is going to help you out. I got you. Don't worry about it. Beastars, written and illustrated by Paru Itagaki, released in January of 2017. The plot stars my big man's Lugosi, a large gray wolf who most stays to himself at all times. He keeps quiet, arrives with one homie, his bro is Jack, and tries to make sure people don't see him as a vicious murderer because, well, he's a giant fucking wolf. Now, the word is Utopia, I mean Beastars, features anthropomorphic uh, animals, or I'm gonna just say furries because it's, my, it's a lot easier to say. Um, features furries doing normal things like normal people. Since there's a natural divide between herbivores and carnivores, though, tensions are high at all times. Like, on site, we beef it. But, for the most part, people have mellowed out and acknowledged the differences until an alpaca named Tem was brutally murdered and devoured on some gore and boar shit. This caused a massive wave of unease between people, especially in the halls of Cherryton School, the school that Ghosty just so happens to attend to. To make matters even worse, the crime scene looks like a large gray wolf came through and foobarred everything. You see what my problem is here. Not to worry though, Lugosi is making it his personal mission to figure out who done did the dirty deed. The cast includes Lugosi, the main character, Haru, the thought, and Louis, the egomaniac and a ton of other pretty fun characters throughout the entirety of Charity School. I don't want to go too deep into the manga because one, the anime is coming out, and two, you should DEATH be reading the manga if you really want to know, and three, no, I'm not, I'm not spoiling this shit, this shit is dummy moist, I'm not spoiling this shit, you got me fucked up. Now you probably noticed that I've been replaying the same footage in the background for the entirety of this video, and what I have to say to that is, come on guys, they only gave me like 30 seconds of film, I'm trying. But in all seriousness, this little snippet of animation is where my major concerns with the anime adaptation lies. Now the anime adaptation is being held by Orange Studios, whose work includes stuff like Dimension W, Black Bullet, and Active Raid. Now while all these shows look fantastic and their CGI looks, again, dummy fucking moist, my fear is that the entire show will be done completely in CG, or will have some parts that are CG spliced in regular anime parts. I feel like this could work really well for complete CG, since the characters aren't really human. I don't have a reason for why I feel this way, I just do. Maybe, just maybe, I got my hopes up from seeing the loop in the third CG trailer and I'm like leaking right now. You, you, you know what I'm saying. But at the same time, I'm still concerned whether or not it's gonna look as dummy moist, or if it's gonna give me that regular moisture. Cause either way, it's a dope story and I'm still gonna watch it, it, it doesn't fucking matter. All in all, if you haven't checked out Beastars, Please, please do yourself a favor and check out this anime and the manga. Shit's gonna be amazing. If you're waiting for the anime though, I understand because that's what I'm kind of doing. Uh, you know, it comes out in October. It's a nice little birthday present for me and I feel like that'd be really nice. But if you want to get ahead of the story, definitely check out the manga because the manga is superb. Like, oh, dummy moist. But I just wanted to make a little video on how I feel about Beastars. This is the furry manga that no one asks for but everyone needs to fucking check out because it's just such a fucking dope story. And... <laughs> I don't know, I'm gushing a little bit. Again, I'm not a fucking furry. I ain't got no problem with what you do. I'm just not one of you. Okay? Get that clear. But yeah, that's all I gotta say. So, future me. Can you play my outro, please? And thank you.